Well, hello, beautiful friend. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. And friends, I thought today I would check in. I wanted to see how you're doing. I've got a bunch of notes here. Just wrapped up a busy day of healing sessions and also talking to friends, just texting and um I offered this week to the Love Posse, my newsletter list, you know, if anything's on your mind, on your heart, you want to talk about stress of the time between the virus and anything else going on in your life personally for you, write to me. So I've been spending a bit of time hanging out, being in the energy of what's going on now, and I thought I would just come here and talk to you a little bit today. So, you know, this is my prayer that it's helpful and supportive and loving. And um, always, if there's more you want to know about, message me here in the comments um, and let me know. So if you're not already subscribed on my list, also uh, subscribe to this channel, please please consider doing that. I love to be in touch with you about things that are important and to you, to me, to you on our spiritual journey. I'm just going to lower this curtain a little bit there. <laughs> it's a sunny day over here. Um, you know, I really want to help you feel easy and at peace in your heart. So as you know, did you know there's a virus? <laughs> did you know about that? Have you heard the news? Um, did you know it's being called a pandemic? Did you know? You know, I know there. it's just interesting. A lot of what friends have been saying to me, people I help, students, um, clients, healing, healing clients, friends, my family, a lot of people seem to be saying the same thing, which is, I'm doing fine. It's everybody else and the general energy of freakouts that's really challenging. Like somehow we don't want to get, um, for lack of a better term, infected by the fear that's going around. And so that's kind of one of the things I wanted to address today is just how do you keep yourself in a place of... Um, peace and ease and practice what you know to be true for you and stay in a place of, you know, calm. Because that is who you are, is calm, right? <laughs> so that's the question. So I've got my notes here. I hope you will forgive me looking down a little bit. So... You know, the question keeps presenting itself. How do I ride in this time where there's a lot going on? And here I am, this spiritual being on the journey. I shouldn't go like that because you really are a spiritual being on the journey. But you know what I mean. How do I deal with that? Um, when, when I hear the news and there are real concerns and... There really is something seeming to spread around, you know, virus-wise. First thing is, let's just take a breath and be so very kind and gentle with ourselves. You know, let's not attack ourselves for having feelings. Seems like we can be really hard on ourselves for having even feelings like stress or tension or anxiety, you know? Do you have any of that? Because I notice that sometimes I can have that too in the form of, I'm not worried. Should I be worried? <laughs> I don't feel stressed. Wait, should I feel stressed? Um, I can have guilt about not being scared. So, you know, wherever you're at, let's just be cool about it. Let's just be loving to ourselves. Cheers. Um, you know, let's be loving and kind to ourselves about how we're feeling. Let's not reject ourselves. Let's not be hard on ourselves. The next thing is just, you know, you are a smart cookie. You're intuitive. 
you know what's what, and you think about it, you've been loving and caring for this body your whole life. So you know what this body needs. Um, you know what you need to be doing. And you have good sound wisdom that comes to you. Practice that. What's coming to you to be doing right now? Honor that. I can tell you for me, um, I always love taking care of my body. It doesn't hurt to practice good common sense. It doesn't hurt to practice immunity boosting things. So, you know, eat yummy stuff that has life force in it. You know, plants, veggies, uh, fruit. I love to grow sprouts. That's a very easy thing to do in the, in the cupboard in your own home with a few seeds. You can grow sprouts green tea, lots of water, sunshine, take walks out in the uh, fresh air. Do the things that work for you. Um, Epsom salt baths, sweating baths. I love just to be in a, a tub until you start to sweat. This is very good for your immune system. Hot and cold showers, things like that. Honor what's coming to you to do. Just looking at my notes. Um, you know, guilt and fear are going to present themselves in lots of interesting ways. The ego mind is, is I got to say, fascinating. It is looking for a way to get you to be upset right now. And it has a few things in its repertoire. It knows kind of what buttons to push for you specifically to get you going. So, if you start to get scared or nervous or whatever you, you do, ask, how is this familiar? How, you know, how is this familiar? And is this really my true self, my deepest, truest self? You'll get some really easy answers, quick answers. Honor that, follow that, um, you know, you don't have to do anything other than what the inner being in you is asking for. So if lots of other people are suggesting things and it doesn't feel right for you, listen to the inner being. Trust and love your inner being. Ask what it wants you to do. If you practice things like a spiritual practice, if there's stuff you know, ask that you know, the, the love of all that is. Ask the energy of all that is. God, spirit, your higher self, the Holy Spirit, the Christ self, whatever feels right for you. How should I proceed right now? What should I be doing? I think your inner knowing does talk to you. I just call it the inner knowing. The inner knowing does talk to you all the time. If certain things continue to recur to you, and it's not um, negative, horrible, icky, stressy. And it feels like, oh, this feels important. This feels important. This feels important. <laughs> Listen to that. It's likely your inner knowing talking to you. Don't forget, if you're here and you're listening, you're somebody who is on a journey. You're awake. You know, you're aware. This means you can be an anchor of love for others. Be an anchor of love. Be of service. Like here I'm making this video. Um, being an anchor of love. Being of service. Offer. Check in on your friends. Ask how they're doing. Today I sent a ton of texts. Not that you need to see my phone, but hi, this is my phone. I sent a bunch of texts to a bunch of friends. How are you? How are you doing? You know, not trying to talk them out of anything that they're feeling or give them any advice on what they should be doing. But just how are you? I'm thinking of you. Reach out and just share some love. And similarly, if you're somewhere where there's a lot of fear, um, hype, and negative stuff, and it's, you know, you don't need to be there fighting the good fight. Just walk away. You know, you still contribute light by not contributing to the chaos, you know. So you don't have to 
explain or clarify or defend your position. You know, um, it's not on you to go around doing all of that. You could still be a beacon of love, of course. Um, it's good to honor if you're feeling a lot of tension, you're feeling a lot of fear, you're feeling a lot of stress or anything, or you're watching the news and you feel your body getting tense or tight, it's good to take a breath. And practice in the body, softening the muscles. I, energetically speaking, I look at things like the body can definitely do certain things to inform the nervous system, which informs the brain, which starts to get the consciousness going. So if the body is tight, you can relax the body and start to have a cascading response. Um, this is how anxiety works in the other direction, but we can start to use it to, to introduce love and ease and a sense of relaxation and this helps you this helps your whole household your family people around you you don't even know so keep practicing softening your body softening and relaxing in your body anything that feels tight softening and relaxing some of you are going around saying, I don't even know what the big deal is. Is this all hype? Are people overreacting? What the, you know, um, that's your experience, but that's not everybody's experience, you know, and sometimes it's kind of an interesting thing to remember the gap. There's what's going on for you. And then there's this gap and then there's somebody else's experience somewhere in the middle there, you know, it's good to remember we're all really making our way. And, you know, as spirit beings, we're really just one being. We're one energy expressing ourselves in all our multifaceted ways that we do as individual sparkles of the same divine um, flame. But no one experience is wronger or righter than another one. So... It's kind of a cool time to practice just listening, hearing people out if, you, if you're in that conversation without needing to change them or fix them or correct them, um, without judging them, without assessing uh, anything, just to share a breath and share some love. And remember, everybody's having a different experience. It's so good, right? If you're worried about the future, if you're worried about what's going on, if you're worried about money, if you're worried about um, the availability of food and toilet paper and all of that, help yourself walk it back a little bit. Take some breaths. Everything is happening now. This is the only thing we can really control is now. Um, walk yourself back come back to a place of peace and see you know it's also cool like i was saying before you're an intuitive being see if you're being guided somebody said to me earlier this morning i keep thinking i need to go to the store but i also don't want to go if it's going to expose me to whatever and i don't want to um be around any negative energy well you know, right here in this moment, that's doing the same thing. You're not going to the store, but if the store is all happening in your head, <laughs> you know, and the uh, you're witnessing the make-believe people in your head having the argument or the panic or the terror. So let's just remember, right here and now, this is the only thing we can do. We're practicing. Let's soften and relax and listen to the guidance that's real maybe we should go to the store um, and practice being a beacon of love being an anchor of love um, yeah however you're feeling whatever is happening for you today 
Let's take a breath. I'm sending you so much love. And uh, yeah, you know, let's do that right now. Um, that was that was the end of my message, pretty much. But let's do a little practice together. For those of you who are still here listening, let's do a little practice together. How's that sound? Of course, I have to get up and find my matches emptied this morning. One second. This girl is never without her matches. So <laughs> I've got a candle here and let's do a little practice together. And really, I invite you to be in this space with me, with whatever is going on. You know, if you're feeling some fear or some anxiety about what's coming or what's going to happen, and if you're not feeling that way, but you know people who are, you know, this is a beneficial practice for all of us um, to be doing together. So I've got, even got a little bell here. So in this moment, let's just take a breath. Soften our body. See how I have a hand on my high heart? You can put one on your belly. Deep breath in and out and feel yourself there with whatever is happening for you. It's a good reminder just to practice breathing in and out, softening your body, Drawing in the energy of ease, of peace. Calling fresh air in and drawing in fresh energy from the earth, from the soles of your feet all the way up. You can call this energy up and up and up and keep going. <laughs> Keep calling it up and up and then allow the energy to settle back down in your body again. In this moment now, I ask that we remember and are reminded that all is well. The sun is still shining, you know, there's still that all is well. And I ask that love, the energy of love, peace and ease. Come to me, come to you, come to our friends. And that we remember any time we can practice coming back. Coming back to this place. When we don't know what to do, this is a beautiful thing to do. To remember the reminder to find your center. Find your center. Instead of spinning in the ego stories, spinning in the fear, or denying, you know, or resisting, or whatever it is, you know. Come back to your center. Come back to your center. And practice remembering the part of you that is invulnerable, spirit in a body. Nothing can happen to that. And so nothing can really disturb the peace of your being. So 
You can practice anytime, just like sending you, I'm sending you this love, this light, this ease, and I hope this has been helpful. And um, yeah, and like I say, always, if I, if I can help, I will, you know, message me here in the comments and we'll keep rolling. Hang in there, hug yourself, hug your friends, hug your family, hug your pets. Keep your sense of humor. Don't lose that. And I'm sending you so much love. This has been me, Robin, Robin Hallett. And uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye. I didn't turn it off. Okay, bye. <laughs>